نجعل الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات كالمفسدين في الأرض أم نجعل المتقين كالفجار Okay guys, so we're going for an early morning gym session. I mean, not early early for me, it's after Fajr, but well, for Zaid it is. For Zaid it's early. Guess seven? what we're having in the morning guys, no, that's no, not I'm good. Not this. Just explain to them. Basically, we're going to the gym and... Uh, early morning bird, the early bird gets the morning worm. What is it? What is it? Early bird gets the worm, huh? I, I have no clue, but we got some bubble tea here. We're gonna have some bubble tea. Some pizzas for breakfast. No, this is just pre-workout because we're doing a big workout. So we're yeah, gonna we're going to hit back and biceps, inshallah. And we just need to eat some people and say get that, that session Some people in. say that they don't have time to gym, but this isn't true. Everyone has time. I don't want to go to the gym now. I'm tired. I'm not complaining, but sometimes you have to push through the uncomfort. You have time to exercise. You do have to go time to go to the gym, even if you're a scholar. You just have to find time. You know, you just need 45 minutes, an hour of your day. At the end of the day, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the hadith, Al Mu'min al Qawi? No, not that one. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he was asked, Ala ukhbirukum bi khiyarikum? So I shall not tell you who is the best Muslim. Qalu bala, yes, Rasulullah. An tala umuruhu wa hasuna amaluhu. The one with a long life, full of a lot of good deeds. Going to the gym, being fit and healthy. For both men and women, I'm not saying men and women go to the gym. That's not, I'm not, I'm not a mufti. I'm not going to give this as a fatwa. Women's only gym, yeah, of course. I'm talking in general. Men and women, take care of your health, your fitness, eat healthy. Ignore this breakfast. This is a one-off. Uh, because Rasulullah, he said, the best Muslim is the one with a long life full of a lot of good deeds. Of course, we don't know when we're going to die. But scientifically, statistically, and common human sense tells you that the more fit you are and healthy, the more likely you have a longer life. Also, you're going to have good quality of those years. So you'll be able to, you're less likely to be in well, bed and stuff being, like that. Rasulullah was doing so, jihad, so. okay, at age 60. Rasulullah was doing severe, do you know how tiring it is? It's probably the most tiring thing, psychologically, mentally, and physically. He was fighting on the battlefield at age, in his you know late 50s, early 60s. This is, obviously Rasulullah is different, but many similar of the Sahaba are well. obviously very similar. It's because they were healthy. They took care of their body. They ate healthily. They were fit and active every single day. I actually walked up Jabal al Nur where Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam um, gained revelation in Ghar Hira, and I was knackered. It was extremely tiring. It's an hour hike. Rasulullah would do this constantly. I'm gonna have some bubble tea. To be honest, Zaid loves bubble tea. The first time I went to out to eat, would you like two years ago or something? He loved bubble tea. I try not to have the tapioca, so you can have the tapioca. One trick is if you guys want to have bubble tea, but you don't want to have tapioca, then you put it up like this, you bite it. And then, well, it works halfway through, as you can see, one of the tapioca gets stuck. Alright guys, we're going to the gym because I like to go to the gym early in the morning. I kind of forced Zaid to come, but he does want to come, but I also forced him to come. So, uh, look at this nice cigar in Allahumma Barik. It's amazing. What is this place called? Uh, Liverpool Street. Liverpool? Literally, Liverpool Street. Oh, is this Liverpool Street? Yeah. It's nice. But Virgin Active, there was one here, it was so good, I was there for over a year. You would have loved it, but they closed literally a couple of months ago. But we're going to another Virgin Active in Morgan. Inshallah. This is actually a very nice garden. We were just discussing how uh, the turban, the turban and the thobe. Because Abu Turab was like to me, um, "Why don't you wear thobes? It's a sunnah." Okay, hold on, hold on. I think that back. I think that back. Fair enough. I think that back. No, that's fine. I'll just but explain to him that. Go on. He was telling me how obviously Sheikh Abdul Razak bin Badr and Abu Shi. Ibn Uthaymin. Um, and he was giving me references from the videos he watched that it's actually not a sunnah to wear it but then we were discussing that maybe wearing it can have some sort of benefit so you know we're still discussing that I don't deny that at all all I was saying that there's some brothers who say it is a sunnah to wear the turban or it's a sunnah to wear a thaw that's not true Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
he wore according to the customs and the times of the place he lived in. And he once said to a boy, Albis ma shit, wear whatever you want as long as it's halal. And in fact, I would argue it's better da'wah for non Muslims and Muslims who aren't on the Islamic scene to dress Western clothing, normal, cl normal clothing. Why? Because you look like them, you talk like them, you appear like them, and it shows them that you're also a Muslim. And this helps, you know, enter the love of Islam into their heart. For many of us, Allah Almighty intends a position in paradise that our deeds do not qualify us for. And He knows, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that so long as we live in this world, we're not going to pick up on our game. We're not going to learn how to read Quran. We're not going to pray at night. We're not going to improve our hijab. We're not going to change our ways. We're not going to cut our habits. But Allah wants to give you a place in Jannah that you and I don't deserve. So what will He do? Seeing that you will not change your ways, He will send a calamity your way to qualify you for a high position in Jannah that he knows your deeds would never be sufficient for. That is generosity and mercy at its peak. Push. <laughs> How do you feel? Bro, I feel like my arms are actually gonna snatch up, especially the first time when we went lower. Guys, I don't even know if you can see, but me and Zayd are here in this team room, just chilling. I'm meant to literally be having some, I don't know, some tutorial that I'm meant to go to, but I'm already late. So after this little session, we're going to go study. And uh, yeah, that's it really. I don't think they can see you or see me. They can see me a little bit. I'm like sorry. a tiny amount. Tiny amount. Oh. You see that? Well, I look like a Tic Tac. Tic Tac? Yeah. What tic tac? You know the sweet Oh, the little yeah. ones. Ah. You know there's a hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says that shaitan he flows through with the blood. Inna shaitan yajri min ibn adam majra al-dam. Shaitan he flows through the veins of Adam uh, like blood. Early gym session done in the morning. Me and Tate are now going to part ways. He's going to Manchester for a day. And I'm going to go uni. I have a lot of work to do. Habibi, I'm going to catch you in a bit, inshallah. I'm, I'm probably going to redo this off camera anyways. So. Okay, guys, listen. So this is actually my GoPro. Yeah. And there you go. The GoPro Hero 12. So previously, I used to have the 10, which technically came out like early last year. Is sick. I've used it for pretty much a lot of vlogs when I'm going to, you know, the underwater shots or when I'm doing, you know, I don't know, anything that's water related or when I was climbing Snowden or Scaffold Pike and all sorts of stuff. There isn't a particular reason why I'm getting the latest one. I just wanted to have the latest equipment. So I said, you know, I'm going to try this out and see how it is. And I also got an extra battery because before I used to have one battery and we know that GoPro batteries really don't last. So getting two. It was a very smart decision. So these are the accessories that I have from my previous GoPro. It doesn't matter because they're, I barely use them and they completely work on literally every single GoPro. There you go. Oh, I need to set it up. And there you go. Here is the GoPro. I'm recording from the GoPro. As you can see, can't wait to use this for all of the trips and stuff like that. This GoPro is sick. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But my question to you is, why are you the world's skinniest man? Working towards not be becoming the world's non-skinniest guy. You're trying to be the world's second skinniest guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 my brother. <laughs> so today we're having Afghani food. You guys know how much I love Somali food. And Afghani food is, it looks pretty similar to it. So we've got Kabil Pilau, I think. Um, it comes with the carrots, all that stuff. Some salad on the side. I don't know what this is. Some lentils and the sauces are actually really nice. That's what my friends told me. So I'm going to try this out and let you guys know. Oh, this white sauce. Mint sauce, I think. This is like a spinach type of sauce. Bismillah. Guys, I'm not even joking. This is banging, banging. This Afghani food might actually be better than the Somali foods that I have. The mandi, I think it's the mandi. It's so, it's so soft and the, and the rice has so much flavor. I'm not even joking. Like it's banging. Alhamdulillah. So this is some lentils. I'm going to try this up. See how it is. It's okay. It's all right. I'm going to add it with the rice. I need some water. I was meant to eat with my boys, but I literally have 
tutoring now for the next six hours. So I just gotta get back to work. But otherwise, it would have been nice to have it with the boys. Oh. I'm no, no, but bro, they, they're ganging up, bro. They're not doing one on one. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his wisdom, his mercy, his blessings and his permission allowed it to happen to the people of Gaza. I'm talking about here living in the West. The mindset that every single one of you that should have, inshallah wa ta'ala, that we should delay our salah during salah. So what I mean by delaying look, you stop trying to rush it. Everybody likes to quickly do some Imam Ferrari Salah and by the time you know it, 30 seconds in and they're already at the Hayatul. Come on, bro. And I've seen it happen. At the same time, we want victory. And I'm saying this to some of the brothers here today. We want victory for the Ummah. This is what big man Amin bought from the auction. Uh, you found your keys. Actually tutored like 11 hours whole day and now I've got myself some pizzas or some garlic bread some crisps some dessert some leftover hummus from like yesterday or something and then we got two pizzas I won't be able to finish them anyway I'll probably have some tomorrow morning and guys don't forget Vimto <laughs>